Hello booktube, it's Thea and um, it's about 10.30 on Sunday, November 11th. I uh, don't have to work tomorrow since for Veterans Day and I thought it would be really fun to do a 24 hour reading readathon and uh, do a vlog for you guys. I've always wanted to be able to do a 24 hour reading readathon type thing and I've always um, been in a position where I'm having to work so I've never really been able to do one. And since tomorrow I am off, I do have a couple errands I have to run, but for the most part my day is free and so I figured it would be really fun to do one. I love watching them, they seem they're a lot of fun to do, so I figured what better way to spend my day off than to do one for you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stay up all night, um, it would be really fun too, but I also love sleep. <laughs> and I'm the type of person where I can't really function without at least a few hours so we'll kind of see how the night goes um, but I figured it'd be really fun to do one and document kind of this like, reading experience with you guys um, I do have plans to go ahead and pick up And the Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness this is a really short kind of um, half storytelling, half illustration book about um, kind of a reimagining of Moby Dick from the point of view of the whales and I've had and picked this up and I will check in with you guys um, in a little bit hopefully when I finish this but I will check in with you guys a little bit later okay so I've read like 12 pages so far just started um, but I've come across the like first full page illustration it's so haunting. Um, this is your spoiler warning. If you don't want to like be spoiled for some of the illustrations, I'm just going to show you guys this one. This is the first one I see, and it is just absolutely like haunting, but also beautiful. Um, you can't tell because it's upside down, but the whale is at the top, and then like the boat is on the bottom, so it's kind of like in reverse of what we would see. Um, but, I mean, even the cover, like, has the good, like, the whale on the top and the boat's on the bottom. But, I'm really intrigued so far, and the illustrations are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna keep reading. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. So, um, I'm at about page 60 or so, and there's a couple quotes that, um, have really kind of stood out. And the first one is... Um, here is the truth, this is out of context, but it says, here is the truth behind the myth, all men are Toby Wick, for who needs devils when you have men? Ugh, that quote, um, just, it reigns so true in so many ways, and it just really got to me, and the second quote that, um, really kind of just stood out to me is, Will the world end in darkness because, it's, because it is foretold, or because there will be those who believe it so strongly they will make it so? In the fear that I always try to hide in my heart, I wonder if there is even a difference. Um, that just, that really hit me. Um, but I just wanted to pop in and share those two quotes that really kind of hit me. Um, I, um... I had about 60 pages or so. I'm not loving it. I'm really enjoying the kind of, it really, like, I really enjoy the whole, like, point of view from the whale. I think it, pro pro I think it provides a really new, like, um, perspective on kind of the Moby Dick story. Um, but I'm not loving it. I really enjoy Patrick Ness. I... And I really enjoy his writing style, but I um, just don't know. I think it's still a little too early to tell. I'm intrigued to see where the story goes, but um, I feel like it's just okay right now. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's about 8 a.m. And I fell asleep, which I knew was probably going to happen, because I'm old, <laughs> and I can't uh, stay up, like, all night anymore, but, um, so technically I've already kind of failed 24-hour readathon, um, because it has not been able to read for 24 hours, but I'm still going to, like, read as much as I can today. <gasps> <sighs> and I just 
for me, it's not realistic to, like, be able to read for, like, a full 24 hours. But, like, I want to be able to do as much reading in a 24-hour period. Um, I did end up making it to, like, I think page, like, 102 or something and in And This Ocean Was Our Sky. I really like the illustrations. I think the illustrations are, like, really beautiful and haunting. Um, the story is just okay. I was really hoping I was going to enjoy this a lot more because it's Patrick Ness and I love Patrick Ness, but um, the story is just okay. Uh, maybe it'll take like an interesting turn in the last 50 pages or so. Um, I mean, I do really enjoy, um, I think the, <gasps> and the concept is really intriguing. And the whole, like, perspective of, like, from the whale is is a really interesting perspective. But, um, the story itself is just kind of, kind of lacking. Um, but I figured, but I'm gonna go ahead and, um, go ahead and get this finished this morning before I have to get ready for my errand. So I will pop in when I finish this. I, um, but happy Monday, uh, happy Veterans Day, and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hey guys, um, so I've made it to another spot that I just read and it's so like hauntingly beautiful and I wanted to share it with you guys. Spoilers warning if you uh, don't want to hear a section of the book. It is out of context, but it was just so hauntingly beautiful. I wanted to share it with you guys. And it says here, your real self is blackness, he said confused. No, your real self is blackness. I can see perfectly well with my eco-location. Leave you alone in the black and you become nothing. You are the darkness, but I still see you. I swim in the blackness and I still know who I am, Demetrius. I, can t I could tell by his silence he was surprised as I was. I had used his name. You sound like him, he finally said quietly. You talk the way men talk when they want to emulate him. The way they use his name to do terrible things. If you fight the devil, you become him. Maybe it takes a devil to fight a devil, I said. But at the end of the fight, don't only devils remain? And for a moment in the ocean, there was only blackness. We were alone, even with ourselves. And whatever devils lurked unseen. Ugh, I love Patrick Ness's writing. It's so, like, hauntingly beautiful. And there's so many, like, underlying, like little like you know messages that kind of seep through um through his writing and uh, it's just it's just so like it just stands out you know um but i'm gonna dive back in i just wanted to share that with you because it's just something that like really resonated with me and stood out to me and it's just another example of his like beautifully haunting writing in this book um but i will check in with you guys when i finish so it is about 9 30 or so i have finished in the ocean was our sky by patrick ness I really enjoyed the concept and the perspective of it being from the whale. I enjoyed the writing. Um, I love Patrick Ness's writing. I think that this is like a really hauntingly beautiful written book. And the illustrations, again, match this like hauntingly beautiful writing. Um, but the plot was a little lacking. And for me, I think I'm going to give it a three and a half stars because I did enjoy everything else about the book except for the plot. I do think it's worth a read just for like the illustrations and um, Patrick Ness's writing and the kind of overall perspective of it being from a whale. But uh, the plot for me was just a little bit lacking. So I've got one book done for this like 24 hour readathon, which is super exciting. Um, so I'm gonna jump in the shower and get ready because so I have to run some errands. But I will come back and um, kind of decide what I'm going to make my second read for the day. I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. 
Hey guys, um, I just got out of the shower and I uh, wanted to pop in with the next book that I'm going to read that I'm going to go ahead and try to read today. I was taking a look at my script account um, to see what audiobooks I had available from like my stack of library books and books that are on my November TBR. It looks like the shortest audiobook is actually for Darius the Great is Not Okay. Um, I don't know much about this. I know that it's a new release. I picked it up from the library. Um, and it sounds like it's a really kind of hard-hitting um, contemporary that does have some like queer elements and some um, mental illness representation. So I'm really excited to dive into this. The audiobook is only like seven hours and I listen to my audiobooks at like two times speed. So it's definitely something that I could go ahead and read today. Um, and I can switch between the physical book and the audiobook, like when I'm out and about running my errands and getting ready, I can be listening to the audiobook. And then when I'm home, I can switch over to this. Uh, I don't know much about it. Um, it just says here, uh, Darius speaks better Klingon than Farsi's, and he knows more about Hobbit social cues than Parisian ones. He is a half Parisian on his mother's side, and his first ever trip to Iran is about to change his life. Darius has never really fit in at home, and he sure thinks are going to be the same in Iran. His clinical depression doesn't exactly help matters, and trying to explain his medication to his grandparents only makes things harder. Then Darius meets Sahab, this, the boy next door, and everything changes. Soon, they're spending their days together, playing soccer, talking and talking for hours on the secret rooftop overlooking the city's skyline. Sahab calls him Darush, the original Farsi's version of his name, and Darius has never felt more like himself than he does now. By turns, hilarious and heartbreaking, Abdib Karam's brilliant debut is for anyone who's ever felt not good enough than met a friend who makes him feel so much better than okay. This sounds like it's going to be really, really good. So I'm really excited to dive into this. Um, I have to go start getting ready to leave and I'm going to start the audiobook. I'll check in a little bit later when I have like started it and with my initial thoughts. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this and this is going to be the second book I start for today. Hey guys, so it's about 1.15 or so. I've finished up most all of my errands. Um, it's kind of the first time I've been able to check in since then. I haven't really been, I haven't really been able to kind of vlog where I was at. But I wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I read about 50 pages and Darius the Great is not okay. Really enjoying it. Um, there's a lot of like cultural elements to his Parisian, to the character's Parisian culture. I'm like, really enjoying it so far. Um, it's very fast paced. Like I've already read 50 pages and it's going by pretty quickly. Um, I'm getting ready to... Uh, go in to grab some lunch um, at this bagel place that I love. They have amazing bagel sandwiches and I'm so excited to, I've been thinking about it all morning, um, but I wanted to quickly pop in let you guys know how much I read, kind of let you know my initial thoughts and opinions. Really enjoying it. It's a really fast paced read. The kind of the story is just starting to get going, um, so I'm really excited to kind of see where it goes, but I hope you guys are doing well and I'll check in later. Bye. Hey guys, um, it's about 4.30 or so. I wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I am up to page 84 and Darius the Great is not okay. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I feel like the story is just starting to finally pick up. The first like 60 to 65 pages I feel like is a lot of like character development and like learning a little like the background of the family and, and Darius and a little bit more about like his home life and um a little bit more and some like character development. Now that Darius and his family are in Iran, the story is really going to kind of pick up and um, I kind of have a feeling that it's going to deal with a lot of like identity and like cultural like relevance and I'm really intrigued to see where this goes. Um, Darius, this character Darius is actually uh, born and born and raised in Portland but he is like Parisian so this is like his first time like um, being in you know the where his family's culture and history is from so I'm really intrigued to see where this goes. Um, I was hoping to be a little bit further along uh, but I'll be honest I fell asleep. Um, I didn't think I was very tired but I guess I was more tired than I thought I was because I ended up 
passing out. Um, and now that I'm like awake, I need to like build up some steam. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is switch to the audiobook and like get some chores done and get some do I need to do some like dishes I need to get all the trash I need to like, take the trash out so I think I'm gonna switch to the audiobook to kind of build up some steam and get some momentum going let's have a really fast paced feel so I think it's definitely something I can go ahead and get finished tonight um I will check in with you guys hopefully you'll see me when I've at least halfway through um, but I will check in with you guys when I've got a little bit more red and when I've gotten some things done around the house. Hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hey guys, um, I wanted to pop in with another update. It's about 7 o'clock or so. I listened to like 34 pages in the audiobook. So I'm up to page 118. Um, I was listening to it while I was doing the dishes and taking the trash out and stuff. I'm really liking it. I um, am kind of starting to see where the like friendship is going to form between the two main characters and kind of where that relationship is gonna, going to start. So I'm really intrigued to go ahead and try to get done, the, try to get through this as much as possible. Um, my boyfriend is bringing home Chipotle for dinner, which I'm super pumped about. I love Chipotle and I might take a break and watch an episode of Outlander because I am hooked. <laughs> I am one starting, I finally like started season one and I've been like half of season one in like two and a half days. I am hooked and I'm almost done. So I might take a break, um, kind of break it up. It's always kind of good to take, you know, you're not burn out. So I think I might take a break while I eat and watch Outlander and then try to get through as much of this tonight as possible. Hopefully finish it. But yeah, so I think I've got like five hours of the audiobook left, which at double speed is like two and a half hours. So I could definitely get through it tonight, I think, um, as long as I like push myself to power through after dinner and like really buckle down and read it. But I'm really excited to hopefully get that finished tonight. I hope you guys are having a great night and I'll check in a little later. So it is at just about um, 10 o'clock or so, so um, my 24 hour readathon is almost over, but I have like a hundred pages left. So I think I'm going to cheat a little bit and extend my 24 hour like readathon to midnight because technically it's the same day. I think it can count um, and I really think I can finish this and I don't want to like stop with a hundred pages because I I'm really determined to finish this before the end of the night because I've had like a whole book in a day, which doesn't happen for me like at all. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish reading this. I'm really, really liking it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'll pop in with my thoughts when I finish, but I'm gonna go ahead and dive in and um, I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. Hey guys, um, I did it. I finished Darius the Great is Not Okay um before midnight as I mean I had like five minutes to spare I was like booking through these last like 20 pages or so I really enjoyed it um it was so it was so different and um but I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed um learning about the Parisian culture in a really fun format um it's a very character driven book but I really enjoyed it I gave it four stars um so this is officially the end of my 24 hour reading thought a readathon um i read two full books in 24 hours which is not something that like ever happens for me so i was able to read a total of 476 pages today which for me that's great like i i average about a book a week so um reading that many pages in a 24 hour period is pretty great. Uh, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how this like 24 hour readathon went. It's pretty late and um, I'm pretty tired. So I'm going to sign off here. This was really fun. I really enjoyed um, being able to kind of get out of my reading slump and being able to get two books done in 24 hours. Um, um, but thank you so much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you guys in my next video. Good night.